Today, we'll talk about foods that help prevent and dissolve blood clots in the vessels. In this video, you will also find tips on what to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So please watch the video until the end, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Blood clots are clumps of blood that form inside the blood vessels and can be life-threatening. If a clot breaks loose from its attachment point, it can travel to the coronary artery and block it. Without timely medical help, this can lead to death. It's also very dangerous if a clot reaches the pulmonary artery, as it can block the vessel and often result in death. Many blood clots go unnoticed because they don't cause clear symptoms that would prompt immediate medical attention. Most people don't think about where clots come from or how to prevent them. Blood clots can form for many reasons, such as a sedentary lifestyle, diabetes, high blood pressure, varicose veins, poor diet, and smoking, among others. It's important to know how to eat properly to prevent blood clots and get rid of any that may already exist. It's also crucial to remember that clots form from thick, sticky blood and high lipid levels. Therefore, a healthy diet should be low in fat. The main focus should be on proteins, but we can't completely avoid carbohydrates, as they are essential for important metabolic processes in the body. While fat should not be entirely excluded, its intake should be minimized in the diet. Turmeric. The first product is turmeric. This spice, known for giving dishes a vibrant yellow color, has been used in traditional medicine since ancient times. According to a 2012 study, one of the main active ingredients in turmeric, curcumin, acts as an anticoagulant. It inhibits the activity of the blood clotting system, helping to prevent blood clots from forming. Besides affecting blood clotting, curcumin also has anti-inflammatory properties. It is used in the prevention of heart disease and atherosclerosis. Adding turmeric to your daily diet can help maintain good blood flow and healthy blood vessels. You can add turmeric to main dishes and soups or mix it with hot water to make a soothing tea. Cinnamon. The second product is cinnamon. Its close relative, cassia, is often used in cooking and contains coumarin, a chemical that acts as a strong anticoagulant in some medications. Cinnamon and cassia can also help lower blood pressure and reduce inflammation caused by arthritis or other inflammatory diseases. However, studies in humans have not provided evidence that cinnamon is effective for treating any specific illnesses. Be cautious when using cinnamon as a blood thinner. A 2012 risk assessment indicated that regular consumption of cinnamon in foods, including cinnamon-based bread and tea, can lead to liver damage. Garlic. The third product is garlic. Besides its distinctive taste and aroma commonly used in cooking, garlic has natural antibiotic, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties. Some studies suggest that garlic powder has antithrombotic activity, meaning it can help thin the blood although these effects are usually mild and short-term. Ginger. The fourth product is ginger. Like turmeric, it belongs to the same family and contains salicylates, natural compounds found in many plants. These are salts of salicylic acid, which is widely used in medicine and cosmetics. Acetyl salicylic acid, synthetically derived from salicylates and known as aspirin, can help prevent strokes and heart attacks by thinning the blood and preventing clots from forming in small vessels. Foods rich in salicylates, such as avocados, raspberries, currants, chili peppers, and cherries, can also help prevent blood clotting. One of the best ways to include ginger in your diet is by starting your morning with a delicious ginger tea. Research suggests that ginger can address many health issues. When it comes to blood thinning, ginger reduces inflammation and relaxes muscles. Red wine. The fifth item is red wine. Many experts and dietitians believe that drinking a glass of red wine each day can help prevent heart disease. Red wine is known to have properties that can help thin the blood and prevent artery blockages. However, it's important not to overconsume alcohol as it can be harmful to the body. The recommended amount is one glass of wine per day. Vitamin E. The sixth item is vitamin E. It is believed that vitamin E can reduce blood clotting in several ways. The effects depend on the amount of vitamin E a person takes. 
People who are on blood-thinning medications should not consume large doses of vitamin E. It is much safer to get vitamin E from food sources. Foods rich in this nutrient include almonds, sunflower oil, sunflower seeds, wheat germ oil, and whole grains. Salmon. The seventh item is salmon. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, tuna, and trout, are among the best for thinning the blood. This is because omega-3 fatty acids help lower cholesterol levels in the body. Additionally, they are known to slow down the blood clotting process. Diet for blood thinning. If you have cardiovascular diseases, heart conditions, have undergone vascular surgery, or simply want to prevent thrombosis, your doctor may recommend a heart and blood healthy diet. This diet includes fresh fruits and vegetables, 100% whole grains, plant-based oils, low-fat dairy products, and animal proteins. A healthy diet also limits foods high in fats, cholesterol, and sugar. If you are taking blood-thinning medications, it's crucial to consume a consistent amount of foods containing vitamin K daily. Too much vitamin K can reduce the effectiveness of blood thinners like coumadin. Green vegetables high in vitamin K, such as lettuce, spinach, and broccoli, should be limited. In addition to the natural foods and drinks mentioned above, there are other items like pineapple, ginseng, seaweed, olive oil, and almonds that also reduce blood clotting. However, these should be consumed in moderation. What to eat for breakfast? A healthy breakfast for someone with blood clots should include oatmeal made with low-fat milk. You can add a small amount of butter, but no more than 5 grams per serving. It's best to avoid fried eggs, which are often a traditional breakfast choice. Instead of black tea, opt for green tea, as it contains components that boost metabolism and improve overall metabolic function. The morning meal should be low in fat, focusing on proteins and a small portion of carbohydrates. What to eat for lunch? Lunch should be the main meal of the day and should include fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. To prevent blood clots, it's important to consume enough fluids, so it's recommended to include a soup made with a low-fat broth as a daily dish. Green vegetables and herbs are key for blood thinning. Include salads made from greens, cabbage, cucumbers, and bell peppers. Dress these salads with flaxseed or sesame oil, which helps clear the blood vessels of harmful cholesterol. For protein, consider dishes made with chicken and redfish. White poultry meat is low in fat and is considered a healthy option. Redfish, like salmon, contains omega-3 fatty acids, which help lower cholesterol levels. For those without stomach issues, it is recommended to consume onions and garlic daily in moderate amounts. These contain quercetin, which helps neutralize harmful microorganisms and improves blood circulation, preventing stagnation. Garlic juice contains allicin, which can effectively support cardiovascular health. Can you drink alcohol? Scientists have shown that a glass of red wine can have a positive effect on blood vessels. Resveratrol, an active compound found in red grapes, helps thin the blood and prevent clots. For healthy individuals with clean blood vessels, it's generally safe to consume 50, 100 milliliters of red dry wine per day. However, even plain water has a good anticoagulant effect, helping to maintain proper blood flow. What to eat for dinner? Based on the previous advice, dinner should include proteins and plant fibers. Good options are grains, pasta, white meat, steamed vegetables, or any vegetable salads. All fruits are beneficial for blood vessels, but be cautious with apples and pomegranates as they are high in iron, which can increase hemoglobin levels. People at risk of developing thrombosis should be mindful of their diet, have preventive blood tests twice a year, stay physically active, and drink plenty of fluids. It's also important to avoid harmful habits. Overall, experts recommend not relying solely on diet to manage blood viscosity. If your blood is too thick, you should reconsider your diet and lifestyle. This means limiting spicy, sweet, and fatty baked goods. Add at least a 30-minute walk to your daily routine. In a short time, you may notice significant improvements in your overall well-being. You can find many interesting videos about the benefits and harms of vegetables and fruits, as well as diseases and their treatments. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I would also appreciate it if you could like this video and share it with your family and friends.